I hope you guys are all enjoying your weekday. I'm not because I am just waiting for spring break to come. It's been way too long, just grinding and grinding in school, and still, we are waiting for spring break. We have three more days, and it is just taking forever. But anyway, once spring break comes, it's going to be a really good time. I'm going to be able to make a lot of videos for you guys to enjoy, as well as just simply relax and enjoy myself, because I'm still working hard to finish everything up in school for this until spring break. So anyway, I have some Ascendance DLC gameplay for you guys. Today is Tuesday, and it is the day where Ascendance this DLC has been released on Xbox and this was actually the first game I played on the DLC maps and I played on the map climate using the HBRA 3 playing some kill confirmed and this was a really good gameplay like I actually went off first game of the day and the first game of the DLC and I believe I went like 43 and 6 completely decimated guys you will see it in the gameplay and some guy actually in the end of the game claimed I was actually hacking and he reported me it was actually really funny he got really mad and I was just like or just laughing simple as that I'm just like wow you're gonna actually report me for hacking even though I was completely decimating you maybe because I'm just too good I don't know that kind of that kind of sound really arrogant but then again it is true but we're not really gonna be talking about the gameplay too much or the sentence DLC but I'll quickly just say that if you guys are willing to even buy the sentence DLC it is okay in my opinion the zombies is all right it's not the best honestly but I'm not really gonna give my full opinion on the zombies because I played it a couple times only and I'm not really a big fan of it but I bet a lot of people do like it and I just not a big fan of the small you know zombies map because I love a lot more BO2 zombies than you know the advanced warfare even though advanced warfare zombies is okay um, other than that, the Exo Grapple, um, you know, ability is actually really fun to use. You guys go see in this gameplay how I use it. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, other than that, that's really it with the Sense DLC. If you guys are willing to buy, go right ahead. It's all right for the $15, but, you know, if you don't have the money, then it's not really worth buying it. You can just stick with what you have, but... Let's talk about the Call of Duty community, and I actually made a previous video talking about COD throughout the years and how Call of Duty has evolved over time. This time, let's talk about Call of Duty community throughout the years and how it has actually changed over time and specifically what is wrong with the Call of Duty community that really needs a fix which will never actually get fixed anymore and you know how it has actually affected the game itself as well as just you know how stupid some of us actually sound when we hear people specifically on social media Twitter Facebook whatever it is on you know the Call of Duty community let's just talk right now so obviously when Call of Duty Ghost came out everybody at least mostly everybody hated the game and I specifically did not like the game but like seriously everybody hated that game to the point where they're like oh you know call of duty is not going to be making any more you know better call of duties it's always the same thing they're just copying and pasting everything to one game to another just to make money and everything and then all of a sudden sledgehammer decides to put a more unique twist into call, you know calling it call of duty advanced warfare using exo suits using all these exo abilities which i find a really original idea but obviously it didn't really work out too well somewhat but still, and it is change in Call of Duty, and yet the Call of Duty community is, is, you know, as much as they want change, they are still not satisfied. That is the Call of Duty community for you guys present day. Almost most of the Call of Duty community is not even satisfied anymore. Like, as much as every year there's a new Call of Duty coming out, you know, everybody's hyped, oh, I'm so excited for the next Call of Duty, and then when it comes out, people are just gonna get bored of it in one week. That's just the Call of Duty community for you. Not everybody specifically, but like, just date back. Date back to those days where, like, you know, Call of Duty, you know, Call COD 4, Modern for 2, those days, you know, it was somewhat, you know, not this, it wasn't the same, I can tell you that, but, like, it wasn't as annoying, and, you know, everybody enjoyed the game to the high, to the, you know, highest point possible, because nobody really complained, oh, this and this, and, you know, all this stuff is going on, and it's ruining the game, because not many things were being exploited at the time, because, obviously, YouTube, Call of Duty wasn't really as big as it is to this day, and, you know, how, at that time, it was just, like, you know, a lot of more public matches, there wasn't so much competitiveness, to as much compared to now and you know definitely the call of duty community is to take the blame for that because now it's like almost some people that really take call of duty seriously are really hypocritical and that's not one of me you know it's not everybody but like just think about it like think about things that most of the call of duty community has actually mentioned i already said one thing how they want to change in call of duty and they got it yet they're not satisfied still they're still saying oh it's not the best game blah 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 and now everybody already eight months uh, before the next call of duty in 2015 everybody's already waiting for it thinking it's probably 
with Black Ops 3, you know, everybody's like, oh, you know, I can't wait for Black Ops 3 to come out. Cherik is gonna save us doing the blah, blah, blah. Realize that Cherik actually almost made the same mistakes as well as Sledgehammer and Infinity, uh, Infinity Ward actually did themselves. Like, you know, obviously since they're the, like, only developer that hasn't really messed up a game too much, it doesn't really mean that they're not, a, you know, perfect because they did have mistakes at their time that most of the Call of Duty community did notice and now they don't even, like, uh, take notice of it anymore and one of those things would definitely be the fact how there was like a lot of lag in black ops 2 and the fact how uh, There used to be skill based matching in the beginning, but that was already taken away anyway Other than that though I would consider Cherk the best developer out of the three But obviously he's not the most perfect and now everybody is praising Cherk to make the best Call of Duty possible this year in 2015 And it's only like I said been you know, you know We have eight months left till the next Call of Duty comes out everybody's already talking about it everybody already thinks about oh, all these leaks coming out and all these like new rumors and stuff yet the game hasn't even come out the trailer hasn't even come out yet and already everybody's excited for the next call of duty that just shows how hypocritical most of the call of duty community is and i'll honestly say social media really plays a big role in you know people's opinions on the call of duty itself because like i said youtubers is one thing like even me i could probably definitely influence other people with call of duty like if i was honestly a big youtuber if i had like a fair amount of subscribers and i just said say like oh call Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is the worst game possible. Maybe I would definitely influence some people and, you know, they are actually not really want to buy the game at, at all because of my word of mouth and my, you know, videos. It, it, you know, YouTubers definitely play a part, but not just YouTubers, but social media. When maybe something in, on Twitter is trending that is COD related, it's going to affect what people think. Maybe, you know, uh, somebody, uh, one, uh, one of your friends or one of your followers, or, you know, tweeted you something or you just see simply in somebody's status or just news about Call of Duty and how people might not really like it or might say it's a great Call of Duty, it depends on what it is, it's going to influence the Call of Duty community and the people that actually play, the casual gamer, and, you know, specifically just now talking about Call of Duty, like how the game is going to play out, but now let's actually talk a little bit about how the Call of Duty community is in-game, and everybody probably knows that, we've got squeakers, we've got rage quitters, we've got ragers themselves, and then we've got the, you know, maybe around 20 year old people who just hate squeakers as well as think that they're the dominant player in, in you know call of duty but that is not necessarily true with everybody that is just a generalization so you i'm not calling anybody out anyway but you guys can just tell how the call uh, excuse me call of duty community has changed over time it is it is actually crazy it is drastic but anyway guys that is gonna be the commentary for today you can comment down below anything you've actually uh, noticed through the call of duty community community throughout the years anything you want to say comment down below join the polish mafia by subscribing below and also like this video and i actually did lose this game unfortunately i don't know how even though i went off completely but it doesn't matter uh, somebody claimed i was a hacker anyway but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video that is gonna be my time for today and i'll see you guys later peace